Hi folks and welcome to the channel and uh, in today's video we're taking a look at the blood drive from Bellcat so it's time for a pedal review <laughs> So we're all plugged in. I'm going to test it out on the clean channel first just to see how that gain sounds on its own without the gain of the amp. And uh, yeah, got to experiment a bit, haven't we? So the signal path is the Solar A2.7. I thought with it being a uh, overdrive that we usually use for tanning up that low end, I thought we'd get the, uh, the good old seven string out. Uh, that's plugged directly into the blood overdrive going into the uh, the Randall T2 straight into the Harley Benton 1x12 with the V30s and I'm testing that out with one of these new microphones yeah I've got the uh, the Tortex DV50 on the voice you've seen that on a couple of videos um i got them in a pack of three so i thought i'd give one a try on the uh, on the cab as well see uh, see how that performs and i'll probably do a video at some time putting that up against the uh the 57 and maybe the uh the behringer as well so this is what it sounds like without the pedal on As you can tell, as you can hear there, there's nothing coming through because we've got everything dialed down to zero. So let's just dial a quick tone in. I don't think that sounds uh, sounds too bad. It's got definitely got uh, plenty of gain in that pedal. Let's see it. Let's whack the gain up for. Yeah, at full. Yeah, it's a bit much. So, that's what it sounds like on its own through the clean channel. So, we're over onto the gain channel. Popped it in your sort of typical tube screamer settings. Got the tone, round about 12 o'clock, level full. 
and again all the way off, so without the pedal. To me, that sounds sound, sounds a bit muffled up. So let me just dial a little touch of gain in there. Yeah, to me, definitely sounds uh, sounds better with just a tiny amount of gain dialed in. So just under a quarter of uh, quarter of gain dialed in. That's the uh, blood drive from Bellcat. What do I think about this thing? The A's and the nays. Yeah, I don't think it sounds too bad. Is it the best overdrive I've ever tried? Personally, no, I don't think it is. I still prefer the, the other th overdrives I've got. Uh, I mean, my favourite, most people that watches this channel knows that the... Uh, the, the ultimate drive from Joe, that's my favourite overdrive that I, that I own anyway. Is it as good as that? No. I think the Nooks and the, the Demon Overdrive are slightly better than this. I don't know. It's not quite got that sort of TS9 
sound to it. So I don't know if you really can compare it to them. On its own, on the Clean Channel, I think you can dial in a pretty aggressive sound on its own. It's, it's got a pretty damn amount of gain. So if you wanted to use this as a, a distortion pedal into a clean amp, I think you'd get a pretty damn brutal sound from this. But as a, as an overdrive on, on a gain channel... I think there's better overdrives, personally. Especially if you've got it in that typical sort of Tube Screamer overdrive settings with the gain set down to absolutely zero. I, in the room, I've not, obviously I've not listened back to the audio yet. It sounds a little bit bit muffled to me. But once you dial, dial in a little bit again, <laughs> it does bring the pedal to life. Overall... For the money, I don't think it's bad. I think there's slightly better options out there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And uh, that's all for this video. And we'll catch you on the next one. Hey right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media. And you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud and keep it heavy.